So what is this Node.js and NPM thing that always seems to be required every time I go to do some JavaScript development? Well, on this special how-to episode of Breaking the Build, we're going to walk you through installing and managing your Node.js and NPM on your machine. So buckle up and make sure your safety helmet's on because today we're going to be putting you to work. Welcome back to Breaking the Build. I'm your host, Brenton House. On this special how-to episode, we're going to cover two things. First, we're going to briefly talk about what Node.js and NPM are. And second, we're going to walk through installing them on your machine. So let's jump in. What is Node.js? Well, Node.js is an open source JavaScript runtime environment that's used to power and run APIs, websites, and even command line tools. Node.js is free and can run on most platforms, including macOS, Windows, Linux, Unix, etc. So what is NPM? Well, NPM is Node Package Manager. It's basically a repository of Node.js packages. This allows a developer to take and package JavaScript and other files and publish it to NPM with a specific version number. Now, once that package and version number is published on NPM, it's there forever. Uh, this is actually a good thing because now this is a reliable dependency for developers that want to use this. So if you're a developer and you want to use a package that's been published, you can safely add it as a dependency in your app knowing that it will always be there. If you're playing and doing any kind of JavaScript development, no matter if you're using Node.js or if you're creating a cross-platform native mobile app using Titanium, you want to make sure you have everything set up correctly. So how do I install Node.js? You might be tempted to go to the Node.js homepage and download it and install it from there. Don't. As a developer, you want a little bit more of a flexible solution. If you download it and install it from Node.js webpage, yes, that will work and you'll get a specific version of Node.js installed in your machine. But the thing is with Node.js, there are a lot of different tools out there that require different versions of Node.js. So you want the flexibility to be able to switch versions of Node.js or NPM based on what the requirements are for those tools. This is where a tool like NVM comes in. Now, NVM is Node Version Manager, and this tool allows you to have multiple versions a Node.js installed. Like I said, there's tools out there that require different versions of Node. So with NVM, you can not only switch between different versions of Node, but you can specify as a default for a particular tool which version of Node that it should use. So how do I go about installing NVM? Well, here's the link to NVM's homepage where you can see their instructions. Now, sometimes these instructions change. So I'm going to post some instructions now, but make sure you go to their homepage and check out the latest instructions when you go to install. On Mac OS, you will need to make sure that you install the Xcode command line tool. So here's the command to install that. When you run this command, you're gonna get a pop-up window that will help you install that. Now you wanna run this command and this will just make sure that you have a bad profile set in your default home directory. Next, you're going to install NVM using this command. Again, make sure you double check with the latest instructions on the NVM homepage, but you can install it using this script. After it completes, you want to make sure you run a command like this to make sure you download the latest version of Node using NVM. You can also now use this command to list all the available versions of Node that are installed on your machine. And don't forget, you can always do NVM help in order to be able to get all the commands that are possible for you to be able to use with NVM. Now, make sure you check out the homepage for NVM as well to make sure you see all the other options and things that you can do with NVM. Well, now I have Node.js installed. How do I install NPM? Well, NPM actually ships with Node.js. Now, the thing is, you will get a specific version of NPM depending on which version of Node.js you're using. One thing to note is that when you're using NVM, you no longer have to use sudo when you're running NPM. So just don't do that. You just call npm and whatever command you're going to do. So you may not have the latest version of npm installed with your version of Node, but you can install it using this command, npm install dash g for global, npm, and then at latest. At latest just tells it to install the latest version of npm. You can replace at latest with at any particular version you want to install. As always, I will post any code and any links to any resources on the show notes. Well, I think that wraps up installing Node.js for today. If you have any topics or questions that you would like discussed on the show, be sure to add those to the comments on this video. So that's it for today's episode of Breaking the Build. I'm Brenton House, and until next time, keep coding strong.